in the presence of the supreme personality of godhead arjuna's lamentation for his kinsmen is certainly unbecoming and therefore krishna expressed his surprise with the word kutaha from where such impurities are never expected from a person belonging to the civilized class of men known as aryans the word aryan is applicable to the person who knows the value of life and have a civilization based on spiritual realization persons who are led by the material conception of life do not know that the aim of life do not uh, sorry yeah do not know that the aim of life is realization of the absolute truth vishnu or bhagwan and they are captivated by the external features of material world and therefore they do not know what liberation is persons who have no knowledge of liberation from material world are called non non aryans although arjuna was a kshatriya he was deviating from his prescribed duties by declining to fight this act of cowardice does not help one in the spiritual life nor does it give one the opportunity to become famous in this world lord krishna did not approve of the so called compassion of arjun for his kinsmen third shloka klaibyam smasmakam apartha nai tatvai upapadyate chudram hridayam daurbalyam chatvotishthat parantapa o son of pritha do not yield to this degrading importance it does not become you give up such petty weakness of heart and rise o chastiser of the enemy sukrishna so is trying to remind him arjun he does not use the word arjun he says parth parth means you think of your background you come from the family of royal people royal noble people you come from the family of pritha your mother is pritha you should know who you are don't become weak get up and then he says you are the chastiser of enemy you are param tapa so this is the name for arjuna that you are param tapa i know what you are you are full your potential i am aware of so don't behave like an important person this is not you dharma you are talking about but remember what is the dharma of a kshatriya of a military person of a kingly person to protect at this time the compassion that you are showing is not right think of who you are do not forget that arjun vacha katham bhishmam sankhye drod katham bhishmam aham sankhye dronam cha madhusudana ishu bhi pratiyotsyami puja har vari sudana shlok number 4 arjun says o madhusudan o krishna madhusudan o killer of madhu how can i counter attack with arrows in battle men like bhishma and drona who are worthy of my worship he says arjun says krishna now he is not calling him krishna he says madhusudan krishna name is madhusudan slayer of the demon madhu madhu also means pride he says o slayer of pride 
I know you're telling me all these things. But how, how can I shoot an arrow to Bhishma Pitama, who is my grandfather? He is the first one who taught me how to even tie that string to that bow. And you're asking me to shoot arrow on him? He is worthy of my worship. I should be offering him flower, garland, chandan, sandalwood. That is what I should be doing to him. He's my grandfather. I can't do this. And my guru, Dronachari. I should be washing his feet. How can I take the arrow and shoot them? Not possible. Guru Nahatva Himahanu Bhavan Shreyo Bhoktum Bhaiksham Api Haloke Hatvartha Kamastu Guru Nihaiva Bhunjiya Bhogan Rudir Pradigdan Shloka number 5. Arjun says, it is better to live in this world by begging than to live at the cost of lives of great souls who are my teachers. Even though desiring worldly gain, they are superiors. Look at Arjun's clean heart. <laughs> His wisdom, even though we can say he is covered up by emotions, you know, when we are reading the story, when we are looking like a, you know, neutral sides, we saw how, what was Duryodhan's stone. Look at Arjun's stone. He says, I am okay to live begging in this world. But killing my superiors? I don't think so. This is good. I cannot take lives of these great souls. These are my teachers. If they are killed, everything that I will enjoy will be tainted with blood. How, how is his heart so soft? Even though he is a warrior, he is very courageous, he is very brave. We all know, we have discussed about his shooting capabilities. We have discussed he had conquered his sleep. Krishna says, you are Parantapa. You are so brave. He says, baby, but these are my great teachers. I am okay to live begging. But I don't think so. Killing them is a great idea right now. If I enjoy, even if I get the whole world, here earlier told, I don't want the three worlds also. Everything, oh Krishna, I will feel is tainted with blood. Na chaitad vidmaha kataran no gariyo yadva jayema yadivano jayeyu Yane vahatva najiji visamas te avista te vavastitaha pramukhe dharta rashtra. He says, Nor do we know which is better, conquering them or being conquered by them. If we killed the sons of Dhatra Rashtra. We should not care to live, yet they are now standing before us on the battlefield. He says, I know, but what do I say to you? Can't you see these are my cousins? I have played with them. They are sons of Dhritarashtra, my uncle. No matter what, it happens in a family, people fight, people argue, and people argue. People may have difference of opinion. But 
taking each other's lives? I don't think so. This is a good idea, Krishna. Maybe they are standing on the other side. Maybe they are all covered up by their desire to gain this kingdom. It's okay for them to do that. Why should I kill them? If they want to take it, let them take it. It's okay, I will die. But I don't want to do this. I have played with them. And it happens in families. They are my cousins still. They are the sons of my uncle. I, I don't think so. This is a good idea. Then he goes on. Now he's like totally confused right now. And at this point, he's seeing his uncle, he's seeing everybody. And then he's like, I am not able to think anything. Very confused. And he looks at Krishna. Krishna is also quite looking at him. Arjun just gives up, falls down on his feet. And then he says, Karpanya dosho pahata swabhava prichami tvam dharma samud cheta yacheya shanishit Shyanishchitam ruhitan me Shishyaste ham shadhi Maam tvam prapannam Shishyaste ham shadhi Maam tvam prapannam Now in this shloka, this is the most important shloka. Shloka number eight. Mark it down. Here is where Arjun now says, I am confused, Krishna, I am confused. I know you are giving me all this knowledge of dharma, all this knowledge of kshatriya dharma. You know me better than probably I know myself. You are my best friend. I am opening up my heart to you. I am confused. I am totally confused what is my duty. So now you tell me, for certain, what is best for me? I am your disciple. Here he says, I am your disciple. Shishyaste ham shadhi maam tvam prapannam. Oh, my best friend Krishna. I become your disciple. I take you as my guru. I am confused in my duties. I cannot think clearly. There are so many cobwebs. I am understanding my duty as a, as a Kshatriya. I understand I have a duty towards the towards people and everybody. But then when I see these people in front of me, I think killing is not the right option. I am I'm really confused. Whatever you say also seems right. And whatever I am saying is also right. I surrender to you. Shishyaste ham shadhi maam tvam prapannam. He says, I am your disciple. Shishyaste ham. I am your disciple. I am surrendering unto you. Whatever is right. Yes, shreyam syan nishchitam. Whatever is right for me. Yes, shreyam. Syan nishchitam. Whatever is right certainly for me. Please enlighten me. Please tell me. I am confused. Now I am confused about my duty and I have lost all composure because of miserly weakness in this condition. I am asking you to tell me for certain what is best for me. Now I am a disciple and a soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. This is where Arjuna by his example he is giving us a lesson. If we have to understand Gita we have to first become a surrendered soul. Surrendered to Krishna. Krishna is Guru. Krishna Mande Jagat Guru. He is the Guru of all Gurus. To understand Gita, we first make him our Guru and our best friend. 
we trust him completely believe in his words we surrender then all the cobwebs which we had in our mind all the questions will be answered who is the most perplexed man who does not understand why he had come here who does not solve the problem of who does not uh, understand the signs of self realization who dies like an animal why are we in this problem whatever problem it just came like fire while fire it just happened in our life one must question why the biggest problem what is the biggest problem these are all small problems the biggest problem shankaracharya says punarapi janamam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jatare shayanam shankaracharya says the biggest problem of a living being is it comes in mother's womb again and again takes birth dies again some mother's mother's womb again take birth again die the cycle of birth and death this is the biggest problem if you never took birth if you never took birth you would not have fallen into this problem will death solve it no unless you know how to become liberated from this problem you came to this world ignorantly you didn't know some set of mother father were given to you some friends were given to you certain things were just 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 appeared in your life as it is problems created every day through different stuff and then you question why me why from where how do i come out of it by death will it get solved no i may have to come back again this is just a human birth when he says when shankaracharya says punarapi janani jatre shayanam it means i can be in animal life also dying like cats and dogs biggest problem is taking birth and then dying and then coming back dying coming back dying in between whatever the problems are there are such small problems if somebody can solve this then you are liberated you are out of the problem forever you came as a conditioned soul but you live this planet as a liberated soul bhagwan in gita says one who is liberated he comes to my abode we have read that in the introduction part but it will come back again in chapter 8 one who lives liberated thinking of me he does not have to come back to this world full of he does not have to come back in this temporary world full of miseries simple he is given a solution in the gita but since nobody read gita they didn't know the solution they were caught up in the same web again and again again and again again and they keep doing they keep solving the problem nobody questions from where the fire has come they just keep dousing the fire and the fire again comes dousing the fire fire again comes but from where the fire came go to the root solve that done if somebody can solve the problem of repeated birth cycles of birth and death he is saved so here this human form of life is a most valuable asset for the living entity who can utilize it for solving the problems of life therefore one who does not utilize this opportunity properly is a miser on the other hand there is a brahmana or who who is intelligent enough to utilize this body to solve all the problems of life ya etad aksharam gargi vidit tas vidit pasmal loka lokat prayati sa brahmana the kripanas or miserly persons waste their time in being overly affectionate for family society country etc in the material conception of life one is often attached to family life namely to wife children and other members on the basis of skin disease 
the kripana thinks that he is able to protect his family members from death or the kripana thinks that his family or society can save him from the verge of death such family attachment can be found even in the lower animals who take care of their children also being intelligent arjuna could understand that this affection for family members and his wish to protect them from death were the causes of his perplexities his understanding although he could understand that his duty to fight was awaiting him still on account of miserly weakness he could not discharge the duties he is therefore asking lord krishna the supreme spiritual master to make a definite solution he offers himself to krishna as a disciple he wants to stop friendly talks talks between the master and the disciple are serious and now arjun wants to talk seriously before the recognized spiritual master krishna is therefore the original spiritual master of the science of bhagavad gita and arjuna is the first disciple for understanding the gita how arjuna understands the bhagavad gita is stated in the gita itself and yet foolish mundane scholars explain that one need not submit to krishna as person but to the unborn within the krishna there is no difference between krishnas within and without and one who has no sense of this understanding is a greatest fool in trying to understand bhagavad gita this is mentioned for people who think oh krishna was some superhuman there are other uh, translations of bhagavad gita where they'll say krishna was just an extraordinary man from him that some god was speaking he did some extraordinary uh, miracles that's all but no this is not how it is krishna was god everywhere vyasdev is writing bhagwan uvacha bhagwan uvacha bhagwan uvacha he is not writing somebody from inside is talking bhagwan himself is talking and how many names arjuna has taken for bhagwan all those names are indicating bhagwan shri krishna so if people say krishna is just somebody ordinary person and something from inside is talking no he is not he is not that person he has given this kind of gita in one hour ordinary person cannot give this people people spend lives explaining gita ordinary intelligent persons you know the who, who pose that they are very intelligent they won't even take krishna's name they'll say oh i am the intelligent person i am giving you this knowledge there will be imperfections in their knowledge but when you read the gita there's no imperfection it's perfect those who have read it every shloka okay and understood it and practiced it they know the value of gita they know who krishna was krishna is god himself he was not an ordinary person who came and who was very intelligent and who spoke something because if he was very intelligent he would have spoken something they you know just an ordinary person there would be very defects in this but there are no defects in gita so perfect the knowledge is nahi prapashyami mama apnudyad yacho kamuchoshanam indriyanam avapya bhuma vasapatnam raddham rajam suranam api chadipatyam i find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses i will not be able to dispel it even if i win a prosperous unrivaled kingdom on earth with sovereignty like the demigods in heaven i'll read the purport of this and then take the question answers of questions okay purport although arjuna was putting forward so many arguments based on knowledge of the principles of religion and moral codes it appears 
that he was unable to solve his real problem without the help of the spiritual master, Lord Sri Krishna. He could understand that his so-called knowledge was useless in driving all his problems, which were drying up his whole existence. And it was impossible for him to solve such per per perplexities without the help of spiritual master like Lord Krishna. Academic knowledge, scholarship, high position, etc., are all useless in solving the problems of life. Help can be given only by a spiritual master like Krishna. Therefore, the conclusion is that a spiritual master who is 100% Krishna conscious is the bona fide spiritual master, for he can solve the problem of life. Lord Chaitanya said that one who is master in the science of Krishna consciousness, regardless of his social position, is the spiritual master. Kiba vipra kiba nyasi shudra ke ninaya yehi krishna veta sehi guru haya It does not matter whether a person is a vipra, a learned scholar, or he is born in a lower family, or he is in the renounced order of life. If he knows the science of Krishna, then he is a perfect and bona fide spiritual master. So without being a master, in the science of Krishna's, no one can be a bona fide spiritual master. In the Vedic literature, it is said, Shatkar mo nipano vipro, mantra tantra visharadaha, I vashnavo guru, vashnava swapacho guru. A scholarly Brahman, expert in all subjects of Vedic knowledge, is unfit. unfit to become a spiritual master without being a Vaishnav or expert in the science of Krishna consciousness. But a person born in, low fam in a family of a lower caste can become a spiritual master if he is a Vaishnav. This is from Padma Purana. The problems of ex material existence, birth, old age, disease and death cannot be counteracted by accumulation of wealth and economic development. In many parts of the world, there are states which are replete with all facilities of life, which are full of wealth and economically developed, yet the problems of material existence are still present. They are seeking peace in different ways, but they can achieve real happiness only if they consult Krishna or Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam, which constitute the science of Krishna through the bona fide representative of Krishna, the man in Krishna consciousness. If economic de development and material comforts could drive away, could drive away one's lamentation for family, social, national, international inabilities, then Arjuna would not have said that even an unrivaled kingdom on earth or supremacy like that of demigods in the heavenly planets would be unable to drive away his lamentation. He sought therefore refuge in Krishna consciousness and that is the right path for peace and harmony. Economic development or supremacy over the world can be finished at any moment by the cataclysms of material nature. Even elevation into a higher planetary situation as men are now seeking on the moon planet can also be finished. The Bhagavad Gita confirms this. Shine punye lokam vishanti. When the results of pious activities are finished, one falls down from the peak of happiness to the lowest status of life. Many politicians of the world have fallen down in that way so downfalls only constitute more causes of lamentation. Therefore, if one want to curb lamentation for good, then we have to take the shelter of Krishna as Arjun is seeking to do.